Good morning, mathematicians. We are looking at lesson one from unit eight. Our cool down is about multiplying two digit by two digit numbers. We are beginning here with 35 times 47. We are going to be using the standard algorithm which we have been practicing throughout this year in illustrative math. And we're starting with our seven being the center of this multiplication problem. We're gonna do seven times five and then seven times three. So let's get started. Seven times five is 35. So I'm going to write down my five and carry that three. Seven times three is 21 plus three more is 24. Now let's be very clear. This is a partial product. And remember, boys and girls, this really is the answer to 35 times 7, right? Now we're going to go ahead and do 35 times 4. But this 4 really has a value of 40. This 4 is in the tens place, so my answer must start in the tens place. That's why we use what sometimes you'll hear called the golden zero, the magic zero. But really, it's just math. This four is in the tens place. So my answer begins in the tens place. I'm gonna cross off this carry three so I don't accidentally add it again, which is a common mistake that sometimes we will make. Let's get started with the four. Four times five is 20. So here's my zero, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two more is 14. And now I have another partial product. Remember, boys and girls, this is really the answer to 35 times 40. You do not need to write those to the side, but I want to make sure we clearly see exactly why this procedure works. Now let's add our partial products together. Five plus zero is five, four plus zero is four, two plus four is six, and one plus nothing is one. So my answer to this question is 1,645. I have found that 35 times 47 equals 1,645. I'm going to circle this as my final answer to that first question for today. Now we're going to move on to another multiplication question, and we can see some strong relationships between our first problem and our second. Let's go ahead and get started with this 5 as being our first center of this multiplication problem. Five times seven is 35. So here's my five, carry my three. Five times three is 15, plus three more is 18. Now, once again, this is really the answer to what 37 times five equals. That is that partial product. Now, before I move on to the four, I'm gonna cross off what was carried, and I'm gonna remember my placeholder is zero. It's really not magic. It's just math. This four is in the tens place. So my answer must start in the tens place. Here we go. We have our four times seven is 28. So here is my eight. And I'm going to carry this two. Four times three is 12 plus two more is 14. And now we have our partial product to what 37 times 40 equals. Now, boys and girls, we've had two numbers that we have multiplied by, two partial products, and now we're ready to add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 8 is 16. Here's my 6. Carry my 1. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6, and 1 plus nothing is 1. We're going to put a comma here. We have arrived at our answer, and we remember that this is really what 37 times 45 equals it equals 1,665. And this is the answer to our cool down number one. 